Hello and welcome to my third to the C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Last time we learned something about variables. Today we're going to learn something about um, arrays. Arrays is something that is very useful in C++ and trust me you will meet it uh, before or later. Uh, actually it's used uh, very much in like basically all programming languages. So it's a very important subject. So um, yep. You just gotta point out your ears right now and listen to what I say and of course follow my directions. Create a new source file and um, we'll have to type in the basic things again, you know, the main method, the includes, that kind of stuff. And that's basic things that we learned about in the first tutorial. So now let's create our array. Okay, now I just created an array called students and it has 1000 elements in it, in it which also means like uh, actually I just created 1000 ints. And um, as you see, that saves a lot of time and a lot of space. So now what if I would like to, uh, let's say that uh, your school creates a new pro uh, needs a new computer program that can hold the test results of all the st uh, students on the entire school. And uh, then they need to go in Benjamin, I scored 100 out of 100 because I'm just that good. And then... In Greg, he scored minus one, so that's really bad, because he shouldn't even be able to score minus one. But um, yep, poor Greg. And then they got a new in for Rebecca, and so on. Um, and if you have to type 1,000 in like ins like that, that's going to take a lot of time. So that's why it's much better just to type, uh, just to create an array. The number that you type in between these two um, these two uh, square brackets is the name of uh, uh, no not the name is the um, number of elements in your array. But you can never uh, define the last element in the array's value. You can never use the number one thousand because the computer uh, starts to count at zero, so it'll count like this: zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. And then when it hits 999, it'll already it'll already have used up uh, 1,000 place, uh, spaces because it started at zero. So that's why you can never use the last element in your array. But uh, now you just created 1,000 empty arrays. So now, what if I would like to uh, assign a value to them now too? Then you do that inside your um, inside your main method right here. Now it's time students serum. You type um, 100. So now uh, the first element in the array, which is zero because the computer starts at zero, is equal to 100. So now each time you call this variable students zero, it'll take the value of students of the first element in your array, which is 100. And uh, now you can assign a new value to students uh, one. That's Greg. He only got uh, he got a minus one, so that that's really bad. Um, and then we got students two which got 10 and that's Rebecca but uh, yep now we got um now we just declared uh, a value of three uh, elements in your array so now what if you would like to print out the value of students of the first element in the students array then you use the see out statement of course to print out stuff on the screen now type students square bracket zero and line. Compile and run it. Save it in this amazingly nice folder as arrays. Now it says 100 because it gets the value of the first element in your array. Now if you want the second value in the array, you type students 1. 
compile and run again. Minus one. And of course, you should be able to guess what happens if you type two in here now. If you guessed on ten, you guessed correctly. Um. So now, uh, that's one way to define an array, but you can also define it like this. Now we just created an array called the uh, results, and it has no maximum or minimum um, elements. Uh, that's up for you to define. So now, the first element zero in this array results is ten. The second one is twelve, and the third one is forty-five. That's another way to define values. So now, what if you would like to say students free? That's the fourth pupil on the school. He scored results. He scored the second element in this array in the the results array array which is what zero one two so zero one two so that what's the value of the second uh, of the second element in the uh, array results that's for five so now if you type students free compile and run it'll say 45 and if you change this value to like 200 It'll be really good for student four because then he got 200 out of 100 correct answers, and that is impossible. So now he scored 200 correctly. Um, but you can also add arrays to each other, like um, stu uh, now I want to print out students three, which is the value of 200 plus. Students zero. So now, if you run this, compile and run it, I'll get some crappy error. Oh, I spelled students wrong. That is embarrassing. Now it says 300. Can now, because now it takes the value of students three, which is 200, and uh, adds it to students uh, to the value of students zero. Which is 100, and that's 300. But uh, you can. Um, so um, that's your real quick tutorial and introduction to uh, very uh, arrays. Uh, I suppose our next tutorial will also be on arrays. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, anyway, see you next time. Hopefully.